Hi everybody, this is Mike Asia and this is my February 2007 video commentary. And as you can tell from the background, this is not my backyard. I'm here in Bermuda at the beautiful Elbow Beach Resort doing a conference of mine. I thought I'd take the shot to actually record my video commentary while I was here. My topic for this month is a topic actually near and dear to my heart. I did spend a couple years of my adult life as a banker, working in the commercial banking business uh, as a rainmaker. But it's only in the last two, three years I've started to hear from my clients today an increased need for information about syndicated bank loans. It is currently one of the fastest growing asset classes that's being packaged up into asset-backed securities. And I spent, like I said, those couple years of my life working for one of the uh, countries, one of the world's largest uh, asset-based lenders. And I have tremendous insight into a business that I used to be involved in. Now, when I was involved in it, by and large, originators of these kinds of loans held them for their own account. What is occurring more commonly today, like almost every asset banks originate, mortgages, car loans, credit cards, student loans, home equity lines of credit, they take almost all this stuff and package it into asset-backed securities. And let me just very quickly run through the basics of commercial bank lending. First of all, there's terminologies I want you aware of. First of all, as you'll hear discussion about facilities. We're looking at this facility, we're talking about a global facility. Typically, when a lender does a package of loans with some borrower, they refer to the package of loans as the facility. That's all they're talking about, is the package of different loans that we've offered this borrower. Now the thing is, within that package, those loans will break out two ways. And I am already going to make an assumption you understand how both work. There are term loans, there are revolving loans. A term loan would be your car loan, your mortgage. It's for some set amount, it will amortize over time, you make monthly payments, and in the corporate, the commercial universe, those are typically backed up with some sort of collateral. Could be real estate, could be railroad cars, could be trucks, could be equipment, could be something like that. The other kind of loan is a revolving line of credit, which is your MasterCard, your Visa, uh, your Discover card, where Visa you know, uh, grants you a $10,000 line of credit, which you are free to borrow up to the 10000 pay it all back down the next month, borrow 1000 the next month, pay it back down. Term loans, the first kind I talked about, tend to have fixed rates. Not always, generally do. Revolving loans are usually the ones that are going to have some sort of a floating rate where the interest rate is going to be tied to prime, to LIBOR, the London Interbank Offered Rate, and perhaps some spread. Uh, those are often backed by collateral too. Not always, often. The collateral that usually backs those up is something more fluid. Uh, receivables, money that the company's uh, customers owe it. It could also be backed up with inventory, perhaps. Now, my experience is in the syndicated, where they take these bank loans and package them into asset-backed securities, my experience is they currently aren't very readily packaging the revolving loans, because those are a nightmare for investors because the principal balance is constantly variable not to mention the fact they have variable interest rates they become very cumbersome very administratively difficult for investors to own more typically they package the term loans now within a global facility there can be various levels of term loans uh, often with different collateral pledged toward them often with uh, different interest rates attached to them and different seniority in case of a default uh, what I don't like, and just to give you a warning, is I'm going to hear this word used, tranche, different tranches that are available. That word when used with like CMOs or CBOs, which are collateralized mortgage obligations or collateralized bond obligations, typically talk about different slices of a big pool of assets. Tranches in the global facility, commercial loan, syndicated loan universe tend to talk about the different pieces of the different layers. The senior term loan, the subordinated term loan, the junior subordinated loan. They're usually actually very straightforward things, not that complicated. But that's what we're talking about when you hear talk these days about syndicated bank loans that's packaging up this sort of collateral. 
What makes them difficult for you guys who are trying to administer them, account for them, is they typically often have no real publicly available information on them, on Bloomberg and other data sources. And that, that I just can't help you with. Once you can't find the stuff on Bloomberg, you're kind of toasty. But anyway, that's just a very quick primer and some basics on syndicated bank loans. I hope you enjoyed the background. It's awful pretty. Um, what's always fun for me to think about is we're looking almost due south over the Atlantic here from Elbow Beach. Uh, I used to use another hotel down here. I used to love the Senesta, which became a Wyndham, which is now becoming a, a pile of rubble before it turns into condos. Uh, but this view, the, if you literally headed due south straight from here, the first land mass you encounter is Antarctica. I don't know why I find that amusing, but I'm just a simpleton. Anyway, I hope you guys have all been well. I'm going to shoot another video while I'm here because I'm way behind on videos and I've got to get caught up. So uh, next month we're going to be talking about the sort of blurry line that's beginning to, to occur that, that as far as the differentiation between hedge funds venture capital and private equity and we'll talk about that next month you guys stay cool it's all good here and i will talk to you next month take care